system implementations for gate gratification for analysis with low cost development boards and a real time application. This project was done by me, Carlos Vera, uh, working with Jose Marcelino Gutierrez, eh, Dimas Talavera Velázquez, and Maria de Jesús Jiménez. So, we can start this presentation. As an introduction, we're going to start talking about gate analysis and why it is important. So, this analysis is important because we can detect uh, some uh, any abnormal pattern in human motion caused by any injury or, or disease that can affect different uh, body different body parts like arms, wrists, ankles, legs, legs, knees, etc. So through this analysis, uh, a health expert can determine and assign um, different. Uh, treatments and rehabilitation for the patients. Using uh, different technology gadgets and devices, this analysis can help this health expert uh, as a second data set uh, to have uh, more information uh, or this or a different angle of the information that he is analyzing during the test, so he can assign a rehabilitation process. According to Massimiliano Sanin in his uh, 2022 work called Gate Analysis under the Lens of Statistical Physics, there are two major different types of gate analysis. That is image processing system and sensor-based system. Being space, budget, portability and usability, the main differences between these two systems. Here we, we are working with a sensor-based system and we are using accelerometers as as the sensors. Well, as we said, we are using accelerometers, and well, this kind of sensor-based systems are a very common and practical technique to perform this kind of gate uh, gate studies. Uh, but sometimes a uh, price can be uh, kind of expensive depending on the microcontroller or the sensor uh, used in the in the project. So the main goal the main goal in this in this project is to achieve a low cost gadget easy to use that can store locomotion data for offline graphic analysis and also uh, that make a graph of the of the move of the patient movement in a in a real time app maybe on the phone or in the or in the computer. Well, starting with the methodology. Uh, here we have some technical features that the device must have. There is portability and that it should be test suitable. That means that uh, it, sh it, it should be useful for walking test, running test, Maybe if the patient uh, should climb something, or if is, or if the patient is in the stairs, or maybe in a flat surface, or or in a not so flat surface. So uh, it should be useful in this kind, uh, all these kind of tests. Of course, it should be, it should have a wireless communication, so the patient can walk or run away from the health expert that is running the test and of course away from the phone or the computer that is receiving the, the data so it should have wireless communication and the, pro the device should have different communication protocols for depending on the peripherals or the sensors that it is using in this case uh, accelerometers and the the SD card module we are using to store the data use uh, SPI communication and also of course the Wi-Fi communication and of, uh, we are using a real-time clock that use I square C communication so different protocols should be uh, must be used in this in this project and it should via low low power consumption device 
Uh, some using coding features, the, these are, um, we are referring to, to us as the, as the uh, people doing this project uh, without in a fast development system. That means using already a card with a microcontroller, maybe some um, shield system. Uh, well, the, the card, the card we are using uh, already use uh, sorry already has the Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi module um, well the, the minimum system required for the microcontroller to work uh, it should be easy to use I uh, an easy to use system this is uh, considering the 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 health expert that is running the test it should be easy to to understand how to use it how to put it in the in the patient and then how to get the the data how to get the 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 graphs uh, in the in the offline part of the project that we are going to explain uh, after and of course as we said it should be a low cost uh, manufacturer project here we have the list of the devices we use that sp32 uh, cards that already have a Wi-Fi module embedded. Uh, this is important, so we are uh, here reducing the cost of another module, and it's uh, easy to make the communication between the microcontroller and the Wi-Fi module because both are already in the same card. Um, well, as you can see, we are using five accelerometers, an AXL345 uh, accelerometer that has SPI communication that is better better a uh, better resolution and better way to get the data uh, comparing maybe with an analogical accelerometer and here we are using a micro sd card module that also use spi communication something important is that the this card sp32 has two spi uh, modules important because uh, in this way both modules uh, they are not interfering with each other uh, while they are performing the task so we can have the correct uh, lectures of the data and also uh, the correct uh, operation of the sd module and also it has an a square c communication for the real time clock we are using a ds3231 module as extra material, we have wire, batteries, and of course the Arduino environment to, to code all this project. Here we have the connection diagram, we have the card, we have the, the SD module that is connected to one SPI port. We have the five accelerometers, one for each limb and one in the, in the chest. So five accelerometers connected to one SPI. To, to the other SPI module that is over here and the um, the real-time clock that is using i squared c communication over here methodology first we have a device initialization each time the device turns on it has some functions that initialize the, the SPI communication. Important, it initializes the both um, SPI ports, so it will communicate properly with the SD card module and the the accelerometers. Well, it creates an a, well the communication with the SD as a virtual object. The communication with the RTC and with the Wi-Fi module. Well, important, the SD card should have a previously uploaded TXT file with the Wi-Fi network name and password in this, in this format. Important for the future lecture, the future reading. Here, um, well, the microcontroller reads this, this file and connects with the Wi-Fi network uh, where the test is, is, being, is being performed and it gets the, the date and the time from the real-time clock and creates a file in the SD card. 
This file has the name of the date and the time. So each time the device is turned on, is is a new test and create a new file with a, with a name from the date and the time. So the health expert, when he took the, the card in the in the computer, he can differentiate uh, which uh, file is which file is for which for which test because it has the, the, the date and the time. And also where we, we need to talk about the JavaScript Ajax system that it uh, that is an asynchronous uh, data sending system. This works well uh, in, uh, in an asynchronous way uh, sending raw, raw data. So it has an HTML file loaded in the microcontroller for the online uh, data application and it gives us a uh, IP direction so we can access to the to the website in the phone or in the computer to see the, the real time data. And this asynchronous server send this raw data fr taken from the accelerometers in uh, each uh, 200 milliseconds. Uh, and it graph uh, it makes a graph in, in real time. So the the health expert that is performing the, the test with the patient can see how the patient is moving and the patterns that the the arms or the legs are doing because uh, they are being graphed in the in the real time website. He, uh, then it has a loop process where it gets a, a time reading. Then it, it gets a reading from the, the accelerometer and store the, the raw data in a, in a vector the, from, from the five accelerometers. Then with some data processing, it, get, it gets the, each sensor value and concatenate the time, uh, the time and the sensor value in a, in a string variable and write all this, this string in the txt file that is stored in the in the sd card and it waits uh, also 200 milliseconds to start the loop again so in each in each loop it gets the time the val the five values of each accelerometer and store it in a string value in the sd card so this is how we are doing a, a data logger of the movement of the patient and uh, storing all the all the data with the with the time and the value of 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 each sensor. Here we have uh, the online data that, as we said, is the data that is being graphed in real time in the in the application, and the offline data. Here, after the test, the 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 expert can take the SD card put it in the computer and with a Python based script uh, that uses pandas, that is a library to work with data frames and data tables. Uh, this script gets all the data from the txt file, uh, reads, reads the, the data and makes uh, different graphics comparing each, each sensor, May, maybe comparing, well, of, of course, individual graphs and also graphs comparing arm versus arm, leg versus leg, or all the limbs together. Well, here is the, the, the results we, 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 we obtained. The, uh, the test was performed in a regular person with no locomotion problems, but there is a future agree uh, agreement to work with a, an educational nursing program so the the test uh, should be uh, should be done in real life patients for future rehabilitation practices. Uh, here we have some results. Uh, for example, this is a real time the real time graph data in the application here in the left part versus the Python based uh, graph data that is taken from the file stored in the microSD memory. So here we, we have a, in this figure is the right arm, as you can see. So this is the, the movement done in, in a test uh, by the right arm. This, this pendule uh, movement of a, of a person walking. 
So here is the uh, the data graph in a in the real time application, and here is the data in the in the offline uh, in the offline information. So the health expert can uh, analyze and uh, and do a, a better analysis. This is the results for a test for the right arm. Here we have a, another test, but for the left arm, and uh, we, we are also comparing the real time graphic with the uh, with the offline graphic. Here is um, the same in comparison, but now is the right leg. We can see how the the leg was was moving in a in a walking test. And here is a, a graph comparing the movement of the right leg and the left leg. Uh, we, we, we can see how uh, both are uh, have a, a, a difference of, of face because the person is, is walking, of course. In conclusions, data and graphics presented uh, show the, the locomotion of a person with no injuries in a flat surface area. So this is a very um, normal test, no uh, no injuries or no diseases or no abnormal patterns that can be recognized. The device operation is appropriate, communication is correctly done, and data is stored and processed properly. Um, for Well, the project will continue in order to be tested during rehabilitation practices, as we already said, with real-time real life uh, patients so uh, we can check how useful this device is for the health experts to perform a better analysis and uh, we can do some improvements in this in this project in this device uh, in order to help these health experts to perform a, a better analysis and a better test in, in patients And here, well, we have some references we, we use and that are already in the article.